Hello everyone and welcome to this new video! Today I will talk about the interaction boat and how to set it up. Before we start, you can use the time code to jump to the configuration you want. So, let's start! First, you need to invite the boat to your server. Go to the link in the description and invite the boat to your server. Of course, to the right one. Then you can make a lot of configuration. If you want a message to be translated using reaction, a flag, you can configure the boat with config flag translation, enabling it with true or false. You can also add optional parameters, such as a specific channel, and if you want to delete the translated message after a certain time, you can set auto delete to true. The mode can be set to all if you want users to be able to translate a message indefinitely, or one if you want the users to only be able to translate the message once. The last parameter, apply everywhere, can be set to true if you want this flag configuration to be applied everywhere. The next command is config role translation. This command is used to configure a role translation, meaning that all messages will be translated into a certain language for a certain role. There are three parameters role, the role in question, language, the language that messages will be translated into, and enable if you want to enable it with true or disable it with false. There are four optional parameters style, target channel, delete original message and delete translation. The styles are embed, webhook and message. Here is the difference between them. target channel parameter allows you to set the channel where all translated messages will be sent. The delete original message parameter allows you to delete the message sent by the user. The delete translation parameter allows you to delete the translated message after a certain time. The next command is config channel translation. This command has four parameters. The source channel, the channel with the message that you want to translate, the target channel, the channel where messages from the from source channel will be translated into a certain language, the language, and enable if you want to enable this configuration or disable it. There are four optional parameters, style, delete original message, delete translation and translate both. The first three parameters, style, delete original message and delete translation, are the same as in the previous command. The translate both parameter is only available for those who have premium. If you enable it, both messages will be translated.
The next command is config category translation. For this command, there are three parameters. Category, all messages sent in the channel from this category will be translated. Language, the language for the translation. And enable, if you want to enable it or disable it. There are five optional parameters. Style, deleted original message, delete translation, target channel, and translate bot. The first three parameters, style, delete original message, delete translation, are the same as is in the previous commands. The translate channel parameter allows you to set channel where all messages from this category will be translated. If you don't set the target channel, messages will be translated in their own channel. The translate bot parameter, as previously mentioned, in, is only available for those who have premium. If you enable it, it's true, bot messages will be translated. The final command is config detector. This command allows you to enable translation for a message with a minimum number of characters. To use this feature, you can set the min char parameter to the desired minimum number of characters. If you want a better translation, you can send to the boat an API key using the command config API key. The API keys that the boat supports are Microsoft Azure and Yandex. Using an API key will improve the quality of the translations made by the boat. In the description, there is a link to the documentation and a support server for those who need additional help with the boat. If you want another video about this boat, let me know in the comment. In the description there will also some comments that I prefer to set up my own server. If you want to reuse it, you can, it's here for that. Thank you for your time and see you next time.